he's back. G'day, I'm Richmond legend Robin Nahas. Wait, legend? no, I'm not. Cult I'm James hero. Clements. There you go. This is the AFL Today Show, your new favourite one-stop shop for all things AFL footy, the greatest game in the world. This is the Midweek Madness Show because it's Wednesday. And joining me are a pair of local weirdos, a.k.a. Footy Nuffs, a.k.a. AFL Experts, that's what they reckon. It's Alex Donnelly. Hey, Jim, how are we? I'm more worried about your moustache than <laughs> anything else at this point more in time. More than usual. It's getting weird. It's getting a bit curly now. Yeah, yeah really it's good weird. looking up. A bit of ring, ringmaster. Take it from a man who knows his facial hair. <laughs> Trim it up. Uh, and the stats boys next to me as well, Lee McCallion. Yeah, I'm just trying to grow a beard like you. Uh, North Melbourne legend as well, Robin Nahas. So oh. happy you got a mention there. There you go. Not a legend at all, really. <laughs> Robin Nahas He's ruled, a legend. Man. He was a fun player, but that's about it. He ruled. BT loved him. Got a little, little bit of time for Robin to ask. Uh, remember to subscribe to the AFL Today YouTube channel. Follow AFL Today across all the socials. Get around this wherever you get your podcasts, of course, because footy is back. And it is Wednesday. Got a big week of footy ahead. And when I say big, I mean small. Because. <laughs> it's less games. Only, <laughs> Logic. How many games are there? Six. Six. It's crazy. This sucks. I hate it. Just give us Thursday through Monday. All I ask. But no still, this is, a, this is a breather of a week, which is fine. You actually need a breather here or there. Throughout a long footy season. Yeah. As everyone keeps putting up like the idea, oh, you know, there's still three boats of footy left. I'm like, not that it'll count for a lot of these teams. Yeah. <laughs> not for us. Yeah. Technically, you're correct. <laughs> the best also, kind of correct. <laughs> but also, like, we're going to see some teams uh, go right off the deep end very, very soon. Anyway, the news ticker right now, midweek madness, Wednesday, June 12. Hey, Christian Petrarca was pretty injured. Hey. <laughs> Jeez. We, we said that on the live stream with Al that he didn't look great. Then he when, came back out magic, uh, magically somehow. We're somehow. no doctors, but we were right. Yeah. No medical doctors. Um, <laughs> four broken ribs, a punctured lung, and a lacerated spleen, which sounds like, I don't know, a pretty cool lineup at a metal festival. Or something. <laughs> Lacerated yeah, we're going to go see Punctured Love. <laughs> they rule. Their third album is wicked. It's not about four broken ribs. That doesn't sound good, but the other, the other one sounds good. To be honest, yeah, it's either a hike or a yeah. metal show. I love it. Uh, but Petrarca, like, he obviously had a few puffs on the old green whistle here. Oh, and yeah. There. Oh, surely he's And runs the green out. Whistle. Back out there, and you're like, oh, he's just so brave. He's whiter than Casper the Ghost at this point. What like, did they could... give him? What the hell did they give him to get Green him back whistle. out? Just the, surely something else as well. That was <laughs> what are you going to do? Get out there, and just go, hey, 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 Petrarca. Joel Smith's got something for you. It'll take away the pain. It'll take away the pain. <laughs> I tell you what. Take this. We're lucky that you know how we were like. Why hasn't someone bumped him? Kind of lucky someone didn't because it could have been, been five really bad. Well, Two he, lacerated spleen. He did get like a big handball in traffic later yeah. on and sort of got hit up a little bit. But in that, like, it's fine. But it's not oh, like, you know, next to the contest, someone goes whack. So surgery, hospitalized. Still in hospital. And yeah, trade him out if you got him in super coach. But at did the same his, time. With his season like seemingly being over, has Melbourne's also gone off? I think Melbourne's season was already over. Ah, there we go. After know, that game? Yeah, probably. Probably is. Tell me how they get back stats, boy. Go on. Well, they need three more Max Gorns. I think that's the only reason. No, no, that's no, the no they also need a full yeah. forward. And a full forward. Yeah, Max Gorns. They can't they're score forward. anyway. They're no, best, they're cooked. Their best secondary option of they're like, oh, player. we're going to lose. Better mm. throw Petrarca forward. He's out for the season probably. Their best midfielder, yeah. Christian Petrarca, gone. Clayton Oliver's too busy putting his foot through walls to actually care about footy anymore. So <laughs> yeah. I don't All know. Right. They're, they're cooked. off the boil. They're cooked. They are well cooked. It just stinks for Petrarca, though. He's a weapon, and when he's up yeah. and about, he's one of the most fun players to Got watch. Got more time to do TikToks now. Yeah, you just spend the rest of the next 12 months be, doing TikTok. Yeah, professional chef before you be a judge on MasterChef next mm. year. <laughs> I've heard it here first. To be honest, Honestly, that's what I would have said if I hacked Tom Morris's account. If he was on Something it, I'd like watch it. I don't know. I reckon we could get him on the AFL Today show in companionship with the uh, NBA Australia show, Cooking with Bainsey, Cooking with Truck. <laughs> Cooking with Truck, yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. It'd be very fun. Maybe we get them two, get the two together. And they can punch on. And also, <laughs> no, they're not punching. This would be great. <laughs> Let him cook. I like this idea, actually. Because, you know, Baines would be out there, oh, I'm just going to do check out this Barbie. And Truck's like, look at this amazing pasta. And it's like, oh, no, I like pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Mean lamb. <laughs> All right. Other news, return of international rules, stats boy. How good is this? Possibly. Oh, this I is love, the best news all year. I love that the, the AFL is like, <laughs> we're returning to Australian rules as Heartland. Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> Citizen. Well, international rules was, was the best. You had the all Australian team to go over. Dustin Fletcher just. It decided, wasn't the all Australian team. It was dudes time, who wanted to go on a piss. It up. was all Australian team, and then if a few of those guys wouldn't say yes, then they'd go, all right, anyone can come over. Dusty uh Dustin Fletcher would always be in goals. It'd be awesome. Yeah, that one year yeah. where the Jack Russell was on the field and grabbed the ball. It was, and it, was the, it was just a it's just a good good fun. It's more just who wants to come to Ireland and drink tins. Yeah. 
that's literally what it was. Can we, can we go and cover that? That would be pretty cool. Yes. To be honest, I think we should get our, yeah. get our accreditation in now and yeah. away we go. It might not be in Ireland. It depends. Yeah, if it's no, no, they're going to do it at Dublin this year. Yep. 100%. Yeah, <laughs> so they haven't played it since 2017. But and that was a one-off and they'd stopped it because the Australian, the AFL blokes, they weren't getting suspended so they could just whop people and just be like, there was a bit of suspended. Beef, yeah. Bang! Yeah, there was some beef. Camp Brown was in there just drilling people. It was great. Sure. <laughs> it's such a fun game, though. We used to play it at school. It's international rules. It should be played more often. But essentially... It's fun. I love it. If they played a couple of games, I'm all for it. Because mm. you know what it is? Footy. And yeah. what do I like? Isn't footy. Footy. <laughs> Just give me more... Do you like Irish guys? Footy. I'm, I've got a lot of time for Irish dudes. <laughs> there you go. I've always worked with at least one Irish guy my entire professional life. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It's weird. There's always one. <laughs> yeah. Just one. It doesn't matter where they're from. There's always a Brit there, too. I don't know. But either way. Do we have uh, a Brit? Yeah. Yes, we have a couple, couple. of sales guys who are yeah. British. Oh, I thought you said meant as in Brit as in a Britney. I was a Brit. Oh, oh right. Brit. Oh, yeah. Some sort of Kiwi yeah. name Brit. <laughs> you're yeah. Irish and then you've gone yeah. to Brit. That's why I thought it was a bit weird. Attention. I was like, this is weird. Anyway, international <laughs> rules is fantastic. I Possibly say, back. Yeah. I say bring it back. Yes. Stats, boy. Absolutely bring it back. Alex? Yes. All right, that's a good year now. <laughs> I love the idea because I think since 2017 – the way we play football has changed pretty dramatically, I think. Mm, yeah. And I think the Irish teams will have at least had a lot more exposure to it. We've got a lot more Irish recruits in the AFL at the moment as well. Yep. I think this would be great. It's the perfect time. So Agreed. hopefully they work through some of those issues. But the fact that even like the simple idea that our international rules is in the news, I'm on board. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Then expand it. Oh, idea. The all Austra- <laughs> the Australian team is the awesome dudes team. Yes. That means Jed Walter gets a call. Yeah, as long as Jed Walter's playing on the <laughs> yeah. uh, Wait, you're letting Jed Walter and Harley Reid loose in Dublin at, uh, what's that tourist trap, that bar called Temple Bar? Temple Bar, yeah. So, yeah. Jed, don't go there. It's a trap. <laughs> it's going to be sick. Uh, yeah, it tastes good there. I like the idea of expanding the international series to playing other AFL heavyweights like Scotland and France. <laughs> And the US of A. It's yeah, yeah, going not too bad. In to the be world. honest, the UK, they don't mind it as well. There's enough England have a really there. good uh, international team. Fun fact. Good stuff. Hey, other news. Tom Lynch. He's like, oh, Dusty's got his 300th. Oh, I want to play with him. And, like, Tom Lynch, he can barely walk. He's like, I don't care. He said he's trying to come back. He's yeah. trying his hardest to get back for this week. Sit him in the goal square. I don't mind it. I mean, they need someone they need a forward. forward. Just yeah. sit him in the goal square. Just like, a one, boys, on my head. A one-legged Tom Lynch is still better than Jacob Kaczynski with two legs. What's going to go? What? What's the it difference is. of having like? Oh no, Tom Lynch got injured again. What are we going to do? Not win any more games <laughs> for the rest of the season? They're cooked anyway. Yeah. Just get him out there. I agree. And to be honest, I've talked about this time and time again. We if could have already, the double farewell of Tom Lynch and Dusty on Saturday. Just get Jack Rewald out there again too. <laughs> Simple as Rich that. I've, I've talked about this before. If you played for a team, Relton Roberts, go out there. Boom, you're off. You go. Robin Nahas, I'm sure KB. <laughs> Robin can still play. Man, KB looks sick on a wing. Yeah. Uh, I also enjoyed the uh, the picture of all the uh, Richmond legends the with uh, Dusty because we are going to get Dusty in a second, of course. Uh, who did we have in the picture? It was KB. Uh, was Shedder, Richard, Shane Edwards. Yeah. Shane Edwards. Shedder. Koch and Rewalt. Shane Edwards being in there, like, oh, I don't know. He was a very consistent He was a player. dude who was you there. Were there. But he, <laughs> he was at, you were here for 15 years. You were certainly here. He did his job, but he was never a superstar, yeah. yeah. Man does job. Yeah. It was Shane good, Edwards. Congratulations. <laughs> it was a good play. But I, lo- I was looking not at that picture, player. and I'm like, there's... Which one of these is not like the other? One of these <laughs> things is not like the other. <laughs> one of these things does not belong. And you're like, oh, God. Anyway... Other news. We've got lots of news. <laughs> Look at the union stout. This is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, what the hell? I found this. I can't believe it. This the is AFL, this uh, AFL umpire's boss is also like a former workplace uh, regulation guy. Which and, really doesn't seem surprising. And the CFMEU no. do not like him. <laughs> no, and they're like, get him like, out of there. Uh, might have a slowdown on the, on the tools here, boys. <laughs> what do we reckon? Because he sucks and we hate the guy. It's like... What has that got to do with anything? They're like, nah, that dude just <laughs> just fire him. We hate him. We hate him so much. They're going to slow down the stadium in Tasmania because they hate him so much. So the John Secker came out in the yeah. Union boss and was like, dropped a lot of f bombs and was just like, that dude, we hate him. <laughs> and he looks like the world's biggest umpire boss that you could ever well, imagine. He, he as well. umpired for years, didn't he? Yeah, he, yeah but he Bernie, does yeah. look like a, yeah. a giant nerd. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> No offence, yeah. but offence. Yeah. Like Alex, Alex, Alex sees a picture of him and he wants to beat him up and steal his pocket protector. Like that's, <laughs> Alex just sees Rev's like, Nerd! It's not Darren Goldsmith, so. so. Oh, my God. The AFL did come out and back to him. Uh, of course Back there, man, which is. Hey, but at what boss? point is the to. union going to win? I'm back in the union over the AFL here. Maybe. What, the union's going to get rid of the AFL umpire boss? Yeah, it'd be a real shame if, I don't know, the roof of Marvel just never closed again. <laughs> <laughs> no! Or if that I'm, t- I'm, trying, I'm trying to get the union on, on my side here. 
We go, oh, yeah, you can't close it. It's busted. <laughs> it's just me there hitting it with a hammer. <laughs> Who's that redhead on the roof? <laughs> That's great. Uh, other news. How do you? Out for a contract here, Stats Boy. Oh, my God. We've been trying to lock him in. He was asked yesterday about his contract. He's like, I'm just trying to win North some games. I don't care about that. Just sign your bloody contract. Give him nah. everything. Get rid of half our players and nah. give him all the money in the world. I'm, how do you? If I'm out you, I'm like, you guys suck. I'm out. He, yeah, I think it was a bit more positive because we actually won the game. So that's at least a positive. But you I won think, once. I mean, I, yeah. I like that you're trying to trick him. He's like, hey, we won. And he's like, what? He's like, the first time in 32 games, apart from that one that we blew last year. Yeah, that one yeah. game we shouldn't have won that we won. Anyway, I'm just hoping that North give him a lot more than uh, we originally were going to offer him. So. This is amazing uh, contract negotiating by. North, it's like, no, 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 we're good, see? And he's just like, we stink. And if you want to keep me when I do these ones, <laughs> yeah. it's more money, yeah. come on. How do you going to get paid? He's going to get, he will. He's gonna get Either that Either way, you'll get a lot, yeah. Will he get paid more or less than Clarko? <laughs> Definitely less. Right. Hopefully more. Midweek winner slash loser of the week. Are the losers anyone else doing this, like anything this week in the AFL? Because it's dusty, 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 week, yeah. dusty, dusty. <laughs> Shout He's out to winner. Will Haywood who plays game 150. Oh, I did not even know that. <laughs> I saw it yesterday. Half, half, half AFL dusty. House tweeted yeah. out like who's got the milestones this week, and it's like, all well, these dudes, but Dusty, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gerald. 300 is a lot. It is. And it's very <laughs> yeah, cool. It is. Because I think he's going to be one of these most, like, the cool thing is the midweek run of the week. We're literally going to do most of a year now segment on him in on a him. second. Why not? Which is great because he's a weapon. He's an all time legend of the game. Mm hmm. It is fascinating to think about players who have played 300 games who, yep. if you take the vast bulk of their career, yep. and like Lee Matthews came out this week, was like, he's not even that good <laughs> most of the time. It's like, but he's really, really amazing. When he's good. When, when he's it good. matters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it matters. Yep. It's like, cool, July 12, you lost a game against, I don't know, the Adelaide Crows in, in Adelaide. <laughs> and it's like, I got 17 disposals. It's like, great. 2017 grand final, however. <laughs> check not this bad, out. Not bad. He's like, hey, Batcher Hooley, I stole your Norm Smith. Uh, <laughs> outside <laughs> of that, just saying. Uh, but really, three Norm, uh, Norm Smiths are Brownlow. Like, Coaches Association, Coaches Association players, 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 everything. Just Literally everything. Amazing. And it's almost like he doesn't get as much credit as he probably deserves because of like oh, the wow. sheer... Consistency of like the ball winning because he plays like a very different role to, yeah. I guess, like other superstars of the yeah, game. Yeah, he's not like these big every ball game. winners and mm, stuff yeah. like that that we're yeah. sort of seeing. And we've actually kind of gone more in that direction over the last 15, 20 years. And there's right? seemingly like a lot of people that don't like him. And I'm just assuming it's because of his haircut and tattoos. Like, and dad. But yeah, but it's like <laughs> Dustin Martin himself has never done anything that we like. Oh, he has done a few little things. Like, no, but nothing oh, we'll like, get into that later. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> No, he's no, done a few. I hate that he, that he Great said. Point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had, well, how did that trail off? Yeah. I promise you, he has done a few little things, but nothing major. I'll give but you. But like, that yeah, thing. he's never been suspended for king hit and a bloke. No, you know, <laughs> most players haven't. Brad Maynard. <laughs> I <know he> Brad <laughs> Maynard actually doesn't get suspended for hitting anyone. Yeah, so. bloody hell. But either way, I think it's weird <clears> that he's been as good as he is, but because he's not like, shall we say, media friendly. I think that's also it too. Yeah, it's like he's weirdly kind of a little bit underrated because he's not foremost in like every sort of hint of media that you can possibly but, get. So and that's awesome. I love it. It's a throwback. It's weird. But think, humble, about it. yeah. think about the last 40 years, four of our best players ever just hated talking to media. Dusty Martin being one of them. Mm -hmm. Lance Franklin. Yep. Tony Lockett. Mm -hmm. Gary Ablett Senior. Yeah. True. That's a, that's a good yeah, call. A couple of them had some vibes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. No, but There's a few problems going on. That's why Buddy went to Sydney, yeah. I like it though. So there yeah. you go. For anyone who wants to be one of the greatest players of all time. Hate media. Just don't talk to the media. Simple as that. Apart from us, where you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's do some Yeah Nas. It's Dusty. That's right, the Dusty edition of Yeah Nas. 300 games. I will put this to you, gentlemen. Is Dusty a top five player of the last 25 years? Yeah, nah. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Oh, nah. I, I think he's just in my top five. He's in my top five fifth, just as well. Yeah. I don't have him fit. Uh, it goes Chris Judd. Chris Judd, Chris Judd, Chris Judd, Dusty. He goes Chris Judd or Carlton Chris Judd. I was waiting for Patrick Cripps. <laughs> Patrick Cripps. No, he's, <laughs> he's, he's not in there. Yeah. Got to be a premiership player. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, I I have him just out. Who's who's fifth for you then? Adam Above Goods. Him. Adam Goods. Don't mind that. Yeah, to checks be fair. Out. Don't mind that. Interesting vibes. <laughs> yeah. I do like uh, Adam Goods. 
Danger. I, I think Danger. I I I'll probably bump Danger out. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, we got that later, but we can do we'll that now. Yeah. Yeah. Should we do it? Rank them at their best. Why not? Best, best. Gary Ablett Jr. Absolutely the best. I Son think he's God. one. In Gary the Ablett's one. Years. Chris Judd. Two. I'd say Buddy two. Dusty I'm, Martin. No. Buddy. Danger. I think at, Danger four. Buddy two or three. Oh, I need to think about this. <laughs> at their best. Yeah. It's hard. Gary Ablett Jr. at his best. I'm putting Lance Franklin. Chris Judd. Adam Goods, Danger. Ooh. I'm Robin Nahas, Dusty. is he? Is Robin Nahas, number one. Uh, <laughs> no, then Josh not. Bootsma. <laughs> Zach Dawson. Zach Dawson. Oh, he's the worst ever. Aaron Zach, Hamill. Uh, Raph Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Kaczynski. Uh, I'd right. probably run with Ablett. Ooh. Dusty, Judd Man, Man D- of Judd. Dusty too. Yep. Wow. I'm Literally got, at his best, he played in yeah. grand finals yeah, know, and just went and won the Long Smith medals. Longevity. At their no, best we're saying at their, at their best, best, not 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 oh, the whole career. Game, game breaker, game breaker, game breaker. That's why I'm absolutely. That's, why I'm that's what I'm saying. Two. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Chris Judd could absolutely take a game. I reckon the Ablett, neck, Judd, please. Dusty Danger, buddy. Yeah, yeah. good job. Something like that. <laughs> good chat. Fine. Uh, as Dusty had a better career than Danger, yeah, nah. Yes. Oh. Three grand finals, three Norm Smiths and a Brownlow. Danger's got one grand final one and one, one Brownlow. In terms of success, yes, but in terms of longevity and a better career in terms of stats, no. So I'm, I'm Dusty's gonna say, just I'm going, gonna say no. look at these yeah, six know, medals I've got. But if I, if and then my brown lays around Dusty my neck. Dusty probably had four, four and a half years of dominance. Danger's had probably like ten. No, he like, hasn't. Or like eight plus, I'd say. Danger, no. that's all right. That's all right. That's what Yen are. talking that's about. That's what Yen Yeah, just these. How, how does someone stats. who's won one Brownlow and one flag better than one Brownlow, three Norm Smiths, three flags? I think. Like, he didn't even win a Norm Smith in his <laughs> one grand final. <laughs> all I'm saying is. Still saying that. Isaac Smith was better than him. Oh. Sorry, Isaac Smith, friend of the program, but geez, give me Danger's game. The miracle of Moggs Creek, that was. Danger was better in the last quarter. Isaac yeah. Smith had had 30 no, and Smith 3 by 3 quarter really time when the yeah. game was over. How many goals did he kick in that? Three? Yeah. Four, wasn't it? Oh. Isaac Smith had 35 and 3. Yeah, oh, 35 yeah. and 3, yeah. Anyway, Insane. Uh, I would take Dusty's overall career just because yep. the highs are the higher. Fair enough. And yeah. away we go. Fair enough. Yeah. Is Dusty the greatest finals player of all time? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who they used to call Mr. September? Was it Lee Matthews? He's yeah. Known exactly. as like the best finals well, player. Well, Lee of Matthews all time. is like known as the greatest of all time. Mm. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll still go with Lee but Matthews. I'll still, I'm going to go Dusty. I wasn't alive, so I'm sticking with Dusty. Yeah, I agree. Nice one. I mean, you could also throw out Andrew McLeod. I don't know. <laughs> Andrew, yeah, he was great. Hey, yeah. Darren Jarman Darren was pretty Jarman, good. <laughs> what about uh, <laughs> Stewie Dusty Drew? is also yeah. better at using chopsticks than Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, I just, nah. Oh, yeah, I'll chuck this in there because that was the thing I was talking about. He threatened someone a while ago with chopsticks I randomly. Mean, <laughs> so I thought that who was hasn't really funny wanted their dumplings to come to them faster? <laughs> Whom yeah. amongst us has not threatened somebody with chopsticks? Yeah. What? <laughs> I'll stab you good. I'll stab we- you good. <laughs> like producer homie does it weekly. Oh, that's only to you though, because yeah. you just have a really grating personality. Yeah, uh, is Dusty a better bondsman than Pat Rafter? <laughs> no, you can't be better than no Pat chance. Rafter. Yeah. Pat Rafter is the <laughs> absolute demigod. Yeah, yeah no. Nah, Pat Rafter nah. was jacked the other day too. Hmm? Looking good. It was. Uh, last one. Can North Melbourne finish higher on the ladder than Dusty? <laughs> yeah, what? Well, yeah, how do we sneak in here? What? So finish higher higher than, than uh, what? So get up to sixteen. Then Richmond. Then Richmond. That's then Richmond. No, because Richmond will win this weekend and North won't win again for the rest of the year. I yeah. think we'll win, yeah, against West Coast the next time they come here, but we won't be above Richmond. Interesting. <laughs> All right. There's some yeah, nahs. In terms of other ones, I mean, legendary gear, do you sort of s- see another dusty archetype in the future? Chad I've, Warner. Oh, I don't know if it's just think, the no, same think about, kind think about, of vibe. But think about the fend. Think about the yeah, pace. Yeah. Think about the way he shot. can break a game open, game open right now. I don't almost Obviously, like he's more of a pure midfielder than Dusty too. Yeah, but as of right now, like in the league, he's the closest given. Harley Reid likes the Fend as well, but I think Harley Reid's more of a pure midfielder even yeah, than Chad he, Warner. Yeah. But given uh, the Fend, the explosiveness and the goal-kicking ability, right, Chad Warner's going to do it for 10 years. Yeah. He's a long way away I'll from give you, I'll give – I don't mind that comparison. But Will anybody else ever win three Norm Smiths? No. Absolutely not. Uh, no. There's no, there's really, hardly any teams really that even are. make three grand finals. Exactly. So, yeah. Let alone wins three. Let alone not in our lifetime. It's like someone might win two. Actually, Sheezel might win in the future. We'll yeah, when he plays for Tasmania. In uh, 10 years, yeah. Hey. Uh, I'm getting everyone to Tasmania. <laughs> I'm a vibe. Because if you think about the Hawks, Norm Smith medal winners, right? Like it's Xavier Ellis was robbed. It's still Ooh, like this absolutely weird. Absolutely robbed. <laughs> it's always like a strange one. So our, our good friend of the program as well, Luke Hodge. Yeah. But like it's when you've got a team that good, 
I honestly it's couldn't really name hard you the to like shine through Bro, three different times. Brian so Lake deserved that. So one. they're four Brian, grand like finals. Cyril, Hodgie, and who was the other one? Uh, See, that's what I, mean. I couldn't name all four. I knew Cyril had won one. I knew Brian Lake because I remember Brian Lake dro- Josh, driving. Hodgie, he, he won two. Oh, yeah, two. Do you remember yeah. Brian Lake driving the Gatorade truck after the game with his kids on the back? <laughs> that was just that was just great. A lot of that time <laughs> blanked down in my head was that year they smashed the Swans. Don't remember. <laughs> oh, that's fine, but we'll ever we'll forever remember Jason Johansson. Um, Tom Boyd was also robbed. Tom Boyd. Slash Josh Kennedy. They were both. Tom one Boyd of them was, was robbed. robbed. Yeah, yeah. All right. Any other news you want to hit on outside of some Yanars? No, I think that's all good. Rising apparently Star Isaac, Race. Oh. This is the big thing. What was that? I was going to say apparently Isaac Rankin's back this week. Maybe. Ooh, yeah. Possibly. And Cody Waitman. So this is like this be would be a good for one for Super Thursday Coach. teams. Yes. Uh, show where we have no Thursday night football this week. Sadly, <sighs> he sighed dramatically. <laughs> uh, but it means that we can actually go through a lot more of the ins and outs and like the sort of potentials. I You've think only this got week six games too. We've well, only got six games to talk about. We don't have footy until Friday night. So yep. the Thursday night teams one will be a little bit more. Who will? actually get out there who might be still sort of floating around because especially when you think about someone like Collingwood they'll probably have no changes this week right because they've got the bye, bye the following week yep. and that's so, when the likes of Dugowie, Pendles and Majacek will be back and that's the thing for a team like Adelaide with rank and hamstring text bat with his bad back they're playing the Swans would you rush them back no or way. give them the extra no week no chance you give them an extra week well, it's think. weird like when I saw Rankin's name pop up I'm like what are you doing like why he's also Although, had a history of hammies they are desperate for a win is that, but it, is that why I don't know but it's also that why would you run the risk and give them an extra week off? You yeah, can no, I put agree. four extra players out there for the Adelaide Crows this week, and they would still lose against. Them. I agree. It's like yeah. twenty six plays twenty two. Let's go. <laughs> like whatever, man. Like off we go. Anyway, Rising Star Race. This is an interesting one that Stats Boy has brought up with no. Whoa, Holly Reid, Bam Balam, he's out of the race. Bam Balam, he got rubbed out. Bam Balam. Or Sam Darcy. Uh, Order of Australia. Never songs for Sam, Sam Darcy. Darcy. No, no song for Sam Darcy. No Sam Darcy. <laughs> I will come up with a Sam Darcy song at some point, though. It's going to be a lot slower. It will be good. Uh, the favourite stats boy, your man. The, the warlord. The warlord himself, George, George Warlord. War, warlord. <laughs> uh, I'd be, I'd be hey, getting warlord. out of head if you start saying warlord. Outside of that, Darcy Wilson's probably my favourite pick for this. He's been really bad the last three weeks because I brought him in in uh, Supercoach draft and he has been So you're horrible. just relying your straight up how good a player has been on their Supercoach No, super but coach if points. you're getting 25 Supercoach, doesn't mean you, you're not getting too many touches. Ollie Dempsey's been fantastic. He has these games where he yeah. just pops up and goes, hey, I've got 27 he and did, three goals. And he did it two weeks ago when, yeah. when the timing was right. Uh, so it's a tricky one. Caleb Wins has been handy too. Matty Roberts has been good for the Swans. He's Kirchhoff. probably not going to win it, but he's just going to have been a, pretty He's going to be yeah. like a mm-hmm. B plus all season. Like, oh, yeah, he was good. Yep. So how are you feeling, stats man? I'm pretty happy, confident on uh, Wardlaw. I, I, I was surprised that he was that heavy in the in the favoritism, but he's been really consistent. He's getting around that twenty touches, which is which is Wardlaw's a, got the advantage of having played last year too, and he played last year. He's got that experience. Ollie Dempsey, I think, will have a really strong finish of the season because the cat. Some of the cats players have been horrible, but he's been pretty consistent. McCurch is that other one from North, but he missed a big chunk of the season. So I think Wardlow's got it. It's yeah. set up for someone who <clears throat> has played one or two games so far to just explode onto the scene and have a real awesome back half and be like, hey, me. Yeah, that might be that might be Dempsey. I know he's played a lot of games, but I reckon Dempsey's going to have a really strong finish this season. Yeah. And yeah, Wilson's just he, had a bad month of having a look. So Yeah, but then we'll that, that gives him time to, to rehash and go, you know, go, go bang for yeah. the second half of the year. Like mm. Overall, I think of the players that are left, I think Darcy Wilson's been the best of the lot. Okay, nice. fair enough. That's kind of what I said. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you can agree. <laughs> the, uh, outside of that as well, I mean, you look at opportunity. And yeah. You sort of look at Darcy Wilson, he does pop off a lot. Uh, and I think that's where the Warlord might have a bit of a chance where it's like he could actually really jump off in the second half of the season. Yeah. He was really good at times last mm-hmm. year. Yep. Could get a lot better in the back half of the season just as he sort of gets on a bit of a roll. Maybe North play a little bit better. Hey, Hopefully. super coach tips, vibes, thoughts. This sucks. <laughs> I'm all right this week. Petrarca. Gone. See ya. Oh. The cool thing is at least Dacos appears to be okay. Yeah, they said fitness There's test. A, so. uh, yeah, it's North. Don't play him. Oh, uh, yeah, I would, I would rest him. So this came up the other day. But at the same, well, I think on maybe the Supercoach We talked show. about it. Oh, no, we talked about the it in the stream. Show. Brownlow, though. That's what we talked about in the Ooh. stream. It's a bit of a tricky one. You don't want to sort of maybe cost yourself three votes against a horrible ruse team. Well, they don't think about that, do well, they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you nick Dacos, you're like, I got robbed last year because I got injured. And if I don't it, want to do this again. If this in sucks. his contract, because he's still in his rookie contract, it's like, I have $100,000 riding on this. Maybe, unless he bet on himself. 
Or he's so like, he's no, probably Peter it's, 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 it's a con. No, it's like probably a contract oh, trigger. Yeah. So no, basically, if he's right to go, I think he plays. I'd weird, yeah. I wouldn't risk him, but that's just me thinking. Long Collingwood time, season, which is fine, because you're gonna they're gonna beat North. Yeah, I, I agree. You don't want to risk your best player. That's just that's just dumb. I reckon he'll get out there. Tom Mitchell's also gone under the knife as well. You He's just think he'll get out there for weeks. Super Coach because you need him to play for 18 players, right? Yeah, because I'm 17 <laughs> if I don't have Dacos. Exactly. So. <laughs> um, Cooked, I'm like you, Jim. Uh, Will Dawson had. Have we got results on his shoulder scans? Yeah, he's, yeah, he, done. he's getting surgery. Six so day weeks. He's, he's cooked. Everyone brought. I didn't bring him in. Everyone That's, brought him in. I think it was over twenty thousand super coach players brought him in. I'm still spewing about that. I did have the big decision. I was literally looking at it. Lecalier or Will Dawson? Went yeah, Dawson good, yeah. because he was that much cheaper. Seventy thousand dollars cheaper. That was a horrible, horrible Unlucky. mistake. Uh, so we've got to figure out the Will Dawson Petrarca injuries. Yep. Uh, super coach as well with the six teams on by. Mm. It means that. Obviously, the best 18. The toughest part is for your super coach this week, we have Gold Coast, Essendon, Carlton, Melbourne, West Coast, and one other team. <laughs> Surprise, team. <laughs> Surprise team. Surprise team. Who is it? I can't remember. Oh, God. Saints. Ooh, no, I, I, think, so. I don't want to no, watch it's not Saints. Saints are the week after. Geelong. Some of the dogs. Geelong. Yes, Geelong. There yeah, we go. There so that, that is a really, really, really tough super coach week because they have a lot of... Between yes, those Geelong, six teams, they have a lot of uh, super coach relevant players. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom Stewart and Tom Green, Battle of the Toms. Tom's down. Stinking it up. Toms are stinking it up. It's getting weird. Tom Green needs Kelly to come back. Kelly Why? Green? To free him up a little bit more, maybe. <laughs> yeah, to help him. Kelly, Kelly Green. Green. Kelly Green. Got it. Just needs the Celtics to win. Yeah. Uh, no, that's the Eagles, I think. Philly and Kelly Green. Um, I'm just talking. <laughs> what are you talking about? Talking about color stats, boy. <laughs> right. Go choose some paint colours <laughs> with pastels. He sniffs paint. Yeah, think, That's yeah, the problem. Oh, sounds like he's sniffing paint. <laughs> but Tom Green has been really, really bad. The first time. We talked about this the other day as well, yeah. yeah. Like, they just sort of need – Caniglio is out for six weeks. Yep. Uh, Josh Kelly is probably nearing Isha return. I think he was out a month or so, wasn't it? Um, so he sort of needs that – I don't know, the, the depth of that GWS midfield to really shine. Uh, he's breaking my heart, so, especially in Supercoach. Rankin and Fisher – very handy if uh, Rankin does come back because it helps your forwards. Yeah, there's not, not not many forwards to pick from. It's getting very, very, very thin on the ground. It is. Dylan Moore will have a half-decent game and then stink for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, outside of that, you suddenly very quickly get to like key position players like Jakey Waterman, Kerno, Mackay. Yep. And, um, yeah, don't know. We're sort of desperate for another DPP switch in round 18. We are. Uh, and then a couple of other rookies. The problem is these rookies also have their buys the yeah. following week. Yeah. So Billy Dowling, Krug's. Uh, this is a big Krug, Krug podcast Nathan here. Big Krug, we love Krug. We're all over the Krugs. 123K. Krug, Krugs, come on the show, brother. <laughs> so <laughs> these rules. boys written in perfect trade-ins, but they're not perfect at all because you I trade mean, them in and then they don't play yeah, but, after two rounds, yeah. both of them, because they've both only played one. Yeah. So it gets very, very hard. So and then yeah. the thing is with Krugs is you've got a bunch of those Collingwood players coming back. Does he get four steps? I just out. meant four upgrades because there's not many rookies to choose from around that 123 or less. Nice. Well, so. Just need yeah. Sheldrick to get a game. All right. <laughs> His ankle stuffed. He's, he's gone. Oh, anything thanks. else from some AFL news or anything else you want to hit on? Uh, I think there was some Barry talk of him re-signing with the Lions and you're like, Jared Barry? There was apparently a Logan McDonald is about to re-sign. Well, apparently it's done, but the announcement's coming in the next couple of days. Same as uh, Weedering. Apparently that's done, but they're not going to finalise it until the end of the season. Oof. So apparently they've already put the paper – sorry, they've put the paper down and said, come on, sign, and they're just going to wait till the end of the season, but it's already been sorted. Um, Whereas Logan contract. McDonald's like, yeah, just – Put on socials, boys. All right, before we go, closest to the pin, Dusty Edition. Whoa. What is his stat line on okay. Saturday, Alex? Uh, let's say 22 disposals, two goals, four clearances. Not bad, four. stats boy. We're going to write that down. What was it 22, two, and four clearances? 22, two, and four. Are we going? Yeah, is that what we're doing? We're yep. going clearances, goals, and disposals. 19 disposals, four goals, and yeah, four clearances. No price is right as me, you jerk. <laughs> what was it, 19? I just don't think he gets Four 20. goals. Four, four goals. Four geez. goals. Why not? And four clearances. They're going to be giving it. If it's in the goal square, they'll be like, Dusty, come fast. They'll just handball to I it. love this. I'm going to split the difference. 21 <laughs> and three. Let's go. <laughs> 21 disposals, three goals, and I reckon four clearances as well. Oh, we're all going four clearances. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Let's go. 21 and three, Dusty. No, I'm going to go above that. I'm going to go 23. <laughs> Closest to the pin. You're Everything really above priced, that, we're all laughing. Price is right. Us. Price, and ride. price is writing Alex right out of contention. <laughs> all right, that'll do it for AFL today for the Midweek Madness Show. Always a fun, quick one. Thank you to Alex. Yeah, great. And the Stats Boy for jumping Cheers. on. 
Uh, remember to smash a like across all the socials to see us doing lots of fun stuff. YouTube, Facey, Instagram, TikTok, X. You can also check out the other shows that we do. Cricket Today podcast, the Football Today podcast, NBA Australia for our NBA Finals gear and hold all tickets. Actually, a chaotic time because you've got the T20 World Cup for the cricket show. You've got Euros coming up for football. You've got NBA Finals. And GGs are probably doing something, aren't they, Alex? Uh, massive Stradbroke weekend. We have a lot of content coming your way this weekend. Nice. Subscribe, so star, like all of those shows across all of your podcast apps, or we'll send Stats Guy to your house and make it weird. <laughs> Get around all of those shows like Dusty getting around a good fend. He loves yes. a fend, doesn't he? Is there anything better than a good fend in footy, apart from maybe a snag from the uh, outside of 50, give it a big roost? No, a I, barrel. Think, I think a fend off. better than a fend? When you send massive someone into bump. the... T- Massive bump. No, I think – all right, hanger. Hanger and hanger fend off for the team. Actually, there was a Bris- the Brisbane Lions player who absolutely snapped a Western Bulldogs player in half with a tackle on th- the Thursday night. Yeah, that was uh, awesome. Revel, Brucey Revel. Yeah, just yeah. bang, like yeah. digging the shoulder into the like solar plexus. It's like got like laid out horizontally yeah. in the air the other day. Like, couldn't happen to a better bloke. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's it. We'll catch you later this week, i.e. tomorrow for the Thursday team show of AFL Today. Until then, look after yourselves and remember, Dusty's back. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.